We just sold Domino's in our Real Money ASX Swing Trade public portfolio a few weeks ago and then bought it again only eight days later. Are we crazy? Maybe, but that doesn't affect our trade decisions. So let me show you why we did it and why we're not sorry. Here's the last buy signal on Domino's, generated using our unique buy sell algorithm in our trend following swing trade system. You can see that since the buy signal that the price has gone up and then it's pulled back a little bit. We don't have a crystal ball to know where it'll go from here, but let me show you why we're confident in our decision and why we don't lose sleep over what the future might bring. So for starters, the reason we got a buy signal is due to this indicator that you can see, the big red line on the chart. It's our unique buy sell algorithm. And for those of you who are into technical analysis, it's based around an average true range trailing stop and breakout system. If you watch some of our other YouTube videos, you'd be familiar with what it looks like. So the buy signal occurred when the price broke through the red line here, basically signifying that it started an upward trend based on the rules of the indicator. This time, if we need a stock in our portfolio because there's some spare cash from selling something else, then we buy it. And that was the case on the 11th when the signal came up. We didn't spend hours looking into Domino's to see if it had strong fundamentals because we don't plan to hold on it for several years. Right now, it's meeting all the specific criteria for the system, and we need a spot filled for our portfolio. So we buy. Simple as that. But why so confident now? We only just sold it over a week ago when the price fell below the same indicator, and we had a loss trade at the time. Why on earth would we buy it again now? The answer to that is the edge that we have on Domino's and the data behind it. You see, when we delve deep into that data behind Domino's, we can see how the system performs over the long term with it. For instance, over the last 10 years, following our buy-sell algorithm on Domino's, we can see from all the trades we've had, we've got a win rate of 72.22%. So when we get a buy signal, for every 10 trades on average, we win seven times and lose three times. Pretty good, right? In fact, those are some great odds, ones that we can be confident about. Many people buy their stocks based on gut feel, subjectively, after reading a story online or getting a hot tip from a mate or a colleague. When you ask that mate how confident they are that it's going to be a big winner, they'll usually say something like, I'm 99% sure that it's going to be huge. They'll never commit to 100% just in case. Now, in reality, though, how many times have you had that hot tip and it's actually worked out? Maybe one or two times out of 10, give or take? You actually can't measure the tips long term because it's coming from a point of subjectivity. It's someone's opinion. You can't ever say, Macca down the street's a top stock picker. He's right 83% of the time, can you? He might be right here and there, but you can never rely on it consistently, which means that it's impossible to repeat over and over again. When you have a process that times the market based on specific set of rules using technical analysis, you can measure it just like we're doing here. You can see that with pinpoint accuracy that our win rate is 72.22% on dominoes. That's our swing trading in action. It doesn't guarantee the future, of course, but it gives you a lot more confidence when buying into that next trade and every other trade after that well into the future for your own portfolio. Now, taking that a bit further, you can see the even more juicy stats, like how much bigger the winning trades are compared to the losing trades. There's no point having a 7 out of 10 win rate if you only profit 5% on your wins and you lose 60% on your losses. You can see that with the data here, that on average, each winning trade in Domino's has been 24.14%, and the losing trades, they were only 8.14%. So with a system like this on Domino's, you win more often, and when you do win, your wins are much larger than your losses. And that's the key. That's what trading with a positive mathematical expectancy is all about. And why we've got members that have been with us trading this way for the past 20 years. It tells you exactly what to buy, when to buy, and importantly, when to sell. There's no guesswork and there's no more regrets that you held onto that stock way after you should have sold it. We've all done that, right? So that's it, short and sweet today. Tell us in the comments below about some of your friend's stock tips that maybe did or didn't work out. I'm sure you've all got plenty of those. 
And of course, if you ever wanna have a chat about the markets or would like me to show you through how we can help you personally with your own investing, you can always book a time on our Share Wealth Systems website or you can give me a call. As always, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and shouldn't be taken as specific advice to buy, hold or sell any particular instrument in the market. And of course, past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. But until next time, when I look forward to showing you around the markets again, I wish you consistent and objective investing. Bye for now.